Aquarius, it's L here to do your December, well, your mid-December 2019 um, general reading. So we'll cover love and then we'll cover career and finance. So um, let's go ahead and get into this. I've already pulled the cards for the sake of time. Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Happy holidays around the world if you celebrate. Okay, so firstly, the top spread is um, how your other person, whomever you're coming to the reading for, how they feel about you. This second spread is the advice for Aquarius in regards to this other person. And then we have career and finance here. All right, so... How your person feels about you is the lovers. They may really be attracted to you. They may feel like this is a good relationship. It's very healthy. You guys may have an element of fitness in, in common. Like you like to keep your body fit or you know about health and fitness, well-being. Not even just of the body, but of the relationship, of relationships. There's a lot of intimacy here. There's a lot of... Um, this person can be them, themselves with you. They feel as if you're grateful, joyous, gracious, uh, attractive, of course. They're attracted to your soul, not just your body is what I just heard. So for some of you, that is definitely the element of how this person feels about you. It could be a Gemini, doesn't have to be. It's just that the, you may have a significant amount of history with this person definitely for them to feel this way about you they feel like you're useful or they find a sense of usefulness with you it's bigger than just sex entertainment what they found in you they haven't found anywhere else they may have not been initially or they found someone else more physically attractive than you. They've been, once again, this is an attraction to the soul, to the person in, in their entirety. Let's see how they feel about you. So we have the death card. You could be dealing with Scorpio. The queen of cups. The hanged man could be dealing with a Piscean person. And the eight of wands. So Aquarius, how your person feels about you is... This may be a situation where there is separation or stagnation in the relationship. You guys... If you don't see each other every day, you know, there's an element of separation here. There's the element of, there's been a pause, a break here. There's someone who's feeling as if, or this could be you, Aquarius, but this is how your person feels about you. Like, they, they're feeling like, okay, I just heard for some of you, the, the, you, they feel like you are losing them and you're losing something of value. They feel they're very valuable to you, to your existence, to the person that you are, for some of you. And then for some of you, it's vice versa. This person feels as if they lost something of value, which is you. There's an ending. It, it gradually ended, but it, it did end. There was the death of this situation. They could very well feel like they're very much in love with you now. Or they're, they're willing to show you. Because the queens of the deck are the doers. So they're willing to, to outwardly show you the love, the affection, the nurturing, the care. That maybe lacked in the connection before. In the relationship before. This person is willing... They see things differently. Something happened in their life or is happening in their life to where they're making permanent changes for the better. 
their perspective has changed. Once again, like I said, they could have been initially attracted to something or someone else. And it could very well been very base, very carnal, very, very surface level. With you, there's an attraction for the entire person, for the entire soul. There's an attraction to your soul, to exactly who you are. They're seeing something differently and they're making some permanent changes in order to have They're making some sacrifices <clears throat> or they're willing to sacrifice something for you. There's an, the element of upheaval in their life. Like they are completely, a complete alteration of whatever is going on or what has gone on in their life. Like they, upheaval is to almost take your entire life, toss it up in the air. You know how you want things to fall. But right now, they may be experiencing the upheaval because they now see something differently. They see you differently. They see the perspective of the relationship, of the friendship differently. And now they're making some permanent changes in their life. They might want to reach out to you. They may even want to talk to you about maybe what's going on in their life. Maybe the trouble and the jealousy here, or if not trouble and jealousy, they may want to just give you communication of, of, uh, you know, loving communication of, you know, this, these are the arrows of love. I don't, for some of you, it's going to be about the trouble and the jealousy about how they've, Feel either if you're in the connection or you guys have, you know, separated and departed from a connection. They either want to talk about what they're in now, or what they're going through now. Uh, they may even talk to you about how they may be even tied to a situation and it may have something to do with uh, them having bound themselves or being binded or being... Uh, have emerged their life with someone who now they want to untangle and unravel and, you know, emerge themselves to. They may even tell you why they ghosted you or why they had to walk away, but they want to communicate with you. With you, once again, there's a level of intimacy. Intimacy is not always defined as sex. There is the words, the two words, sex and intimacy. So if they were uh, the same, then we just have one word. So intimacy is being able to bear their soul, being able to be themselves with you, being able to, to be vulnerable, being able to, um, to share exactly who and what how they are some of you hold this other person holds secret for you or vice versa or or they want to tell you what has been secretive for a long time this other person aquarius what they held back from you but i'm getting for some of you what you already knew Let's see what the advice is for the Aquarius. So you have the two of fire at the bottom of the deck. So you're going to be at a crossroads, possibly when this person communicates with you. Um, it could be two weeks, two months, two years. You know your life. You know where you are in a connection. So don't quote me on that. There's no real timeline here. Um, but you'll be definitely at a crossroads when you do connect with this person. Um, you've done a lot of work 
to get away from this turbulent situation where there was lack of commitment, fear of commitment, where there was someone playing two sides, there was a, a, a buy situation, you know, when I say buy, meaning two, it could have been two people, two, two things in this person's lives, you and something else or someone else, where they, they divided their energy, their time, they weren't fully committed to you or the other position. So you move past that. But the advice here is for you to know that you've come into your own and that this new partnership or new contract, you can continue to move forward because you understand what it is to actually accept. Now, you understand that if you accept this person back into your life, you understand what it is you you have to institute before um, going any further with them because you've come into your own. You, you know the power that you possess. You know how to be assertive. You know how to communicate effectively and clearly now. The communication isn't necessarily coming from nonverbal signs or the games that one would play in, in the dating world. You will definitely stand your ground and you're able to either accept or reject this person because if you do accept them and they don't fall and they fall short of any of the the prerequisites, the, the parameters that you're setting for this connection to come back together, you can easily withdraw yourself because once again, you've come into your own. You understand giving, releasing, relinquishing power and being vulnerable. You also understand taking it back when you are not seeing effective results uh, or up, up front results or effort so this is good this is like the example okay uh john comes back around in the past it was a real turbulent crazy shitty situation with john he's coming back he's saying he's changed he wants a real relationship okay so uh sally says okay john the only way you can come back is you know you really have to prove to me that you have changed uh, we need to take things slow. We need to take some time. I'm not really open to even having sexual activity with you just yet. Uh, I would like for us to be in a courtship. You know, let's just hang out. Let's just get to reconnect again. Um, also, you don't have to verbalize this, but this is what you would be doing. You would be analyzing John's life right where it is. Let's say in the past, John never let you come to his house never let you meet friends okay if he's coming back around and saying he's changed then what should be changing aha uh -huh. yeah you should be meeting friends you should be at john's house and if all those things are not changing then aquarius is so strong within themselves because they've come into their own that if they don't see real effort real results real change it is not a big hoopla of Okay, you aren't doing, you won't do, it's, I'm going to withdraw because this isn't, this isn't going in the fashion it, it should be going, especially when I have been assertive about what I will accept and won't accept. And I am 100% willing to work on this too. It's just, it's not 100% you, John. I'm in it too. But if I don't see effort from you, I have to withdraw myself and that's it. It's real calm. It's real frank. It's real over too. If there is nothing changing. Okay. So the advice here is Aquarius. You can accept this person or reject. It's up to you because you've done the work in regards to dealing with other people and partnerships. All right. So Aquarius, the advice in regards to dealing with this person, it could be a king of water. We have the queen of cups here. The both of you, it could be that the both of you are very much in love. You may be a little bit more mature and reserved and not showing your hand in regards to your, your emotions right now. You, you, um, 
you're getting some trustworthy and some heartfelt advice or you're either giving it. You are at a place, once again, a lot of uh, maturity. Um, the advice here, eight of air. So this is an illusion that maybe this will be like last time. If you want real change, you it starts with you. Once again, back to that analogy about John and Sally. Um, Sally, if Sally wants the relationship to be on a positive note once John comes back around, then Sally has to first come out of that eight of air where all oh, it's going to be the same thing or having lack of confidence or you're afraid to take action with this person because of what they did to you and how they they boggled your mind yesteryear back then you the advice here is you can't think like that you know a, a man is what he thinketh right or something like that saying okay i can't you know you are what you, you are some of your thoughts right so think positive um be cautious be aware but think positive the night of fire. So understand that this person may come back to you very suddenly, very passionately, um, and they're very self-assured. And you may have to kind of halt, stop, the, and pump the brakes here. Uh, but do know that time, time for, I feel like this is the other person. The advice here is, they want you to know that this person is feeling like time is of the essence because they have some choice, some decision to make in their own life. You take time, once again, to think things through. If you need time, you take time. This person may come in very hot and heavy because they're trying to prove by way of action and doing that they're all in it for you. And they very well may be all in it, but if you're not comfortable, pump the brakes. Okay? The advice also, ego. Okay, you cannot... Once again, you got two fear cards. Afraid to take action. Fear and negative-based thoughts. That's all the Eight of Swords is cyclical negative thoughts going in a cycle going in a circle he's going to do this she's going to do that if i do this if i do that you've got to come out come out of the get off the merry-go-round of negative mindset don't be fearful do know that the choice you make is all up to you um this is the devil card or the ego. Reduce the ego because the ego most times is based in fear and lack. Don't let this person feel as if or make you feel as if this is another sexual conquest. And if you do feel that way, once again, advice. Pump the brakes on this. You control this. But there's a false sense of entrapment in regards to this person coming back. You have the power. You hold the power. You hold the keys to what this can be and what it cannot be. The devil card says um, your life is changing for the good or for the bad, depending on the choice that you make. Make sure that whatever you choose does not lead you to dead end. Uh, feeling enclosed, encapsulated, trapped in this situation, back into a negative set or mind or mindset or just a negative way of being. How do you do that? You ask L. Um, well, you ask the cards. How you do that is. Once again, back to the example, setting the standard, setting the parameters, the prerequisite, the whatever it is for this person returning or this person that you have a significant amount of history with. 
everything that was will not be now. And that is how you, you come off. That is how you articulate yourself to this person. This is what I would like to see happen. This is what I am willing to accept. This is how I want things to go. I am willing to do the work too. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Also, know the end game here. Know the result. What do you want out of this? Right? Don't just engage with person that comes back from the past or person that comes back and you don't have an end game here and you don't have strategy and you don't have execution because you won't see any results. It'll just be a lot of doing. Have you ever, okay, so it's like when you meet that person, new or old, they come back around and it's like, well, you know, um, you may ask the question, so what What do you want to, what, what exactly do you want from me? Or what do you think this connection is? Or what does it mean to you? What do you want to happen here? And they're like, well, I just, you know, want to take it easy and be friends and, you know, just take it easy. Okay, so you want to do a whole bunch of shit together and we don't have any end game, any end result here. Well, that's not what I'm about. That's not what I want. So I need to make sure that what I choose won't lead me down to that dead end. That trap or feeling entrapped. Now my feelings are all in it six months, one year down the line, and we're still just doing shit. We're still just, you come over on Friday, we hang out. We even go to dinner. We even have really nice outings. We even take trips, but we still don't have a title. I still haven't met certain people. I still am not invited to the Christmas party with your company. I'm not invited with you. I'm not your plus one. Make sure you set the standard. Be assertive, okay? All right, so the, the additional angel advice for your person because it looks like they want to communicate with you about how they see things differently. How they see you differently. Good or bad. Some of you, your person wants you to choose. This is a male Aquarius. Wants you to choose a lover. A sex. Once again, I'm going back to buy. Both, I don't know, both ways. Okay, anyway. Trust. So your person is either going to have to regain your trust, wanting you to trust them. It's once again, like I said, the doer, the queen of cups of the, the cups of the, uh, you know, the cup sign, she is the doer. So this person is going to be doing things to regain your trust because you probably don't trust them. What they are focused on right now is welcoming the new. So when you see this card, you, your mind, any thinking person would say, if they're welcoming the new, then they must have gotten rid of the old. Or they must be right on the, the cusp of, of releasing, relinquishing, upheaval, t turning their life, life upside down, new perspective from the old, right? Some of you, your people, person, maybe coming out of a relationship, maybe coming out of something that was stagnant, that was stuck, that was drama filled, that was surface level, surface based. Your person might be communicating with you within the next few weeks. Because they're having realizations and epiphanies about what this connection is, what you mean to them. You, Aquarius, two cards fell out for you. Uh, the additional advice for you is don't stop and it's not the right time. 
So, for some of you, it just might not be the right time to go all in. And we're going to, at the other side, I think I'm going to extend this. We'll pull a card or so on this. But don't stop whatever it is you're doing. A lot of you, it looks like you, you've done or you will be doing some manifestation work. Um, it's just not the right time. Some of you know that someone is returning. And the question is when. Right now is not the right time. Maybe because they have to welcome the new. Maybe they're right on the cusp of doing so. All right. So, what you should be focused on, Aquarius, is religion and spirituality. Yeah. You should be focused on routine and regimen for yourself. Some of you are learning about religion and spirituality, trying to come to some determination in regards to which path you'll be taking. Some of you are getting insight about what the next phase of your life is by way of religion and spirituality. Let's see. Let's talk about career and finance. To, and then we'll close this out. So we have the queen of spades, your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very objective, smart, independent, knows a great deal of, you fill in the blank, has a wealth of knowledge by way of experience. She can be, you know, taught, learned, having gone to university, but she's also has experience. I have to move this light. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Um, this is also a person who you may be put in a position where input is given to you. either voluntarily or involuntarily people give you their their opinion but do know that their opinion is just what it is their opinion it's valid in the form that it it, it means something to them but you don't have to take another person's opinion as truth and, and you have this makes you a good leader because you're able to listen to several different people in your career and finance sector. Um, and you're, you're able to allow people's opinion to be voiced and make them feel as if they are included and, and they very well may be. But you understand that... Um, Opinion is just what it is. Um, it has an air of validity because everyone has something to offer. But it's not absolute truth. Uh, and you can take from people's input and you can, you're can you able to gather knowledge and kind of formulate this big ball, this wealth of, okay? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, some of you are doing some independent work or you have a business idea that's making you restless exactly where you are in your current position. There, some, there, a lot of you, if you are not financially independent, stable, you will be coming into this. Um, a lot of you are ready for the next level, for some long-term goal fulfillment to be realized because the next one... Next card would be the Ten of Pentacles. That talks about reputation, long-term goal fulfillment, um, fame, uh, fortune, masculine energy. Um, career finance, five of, wow. Success, 
and home, marriage, and business. It's so funny that the Five of Diamond is the complete opposite from what the Five of Pentacle is in the Tarot. This is success. This is that that change because we know the fives institute change. They talk about change. This is that dynamic. The, wow, some of you are going to have to really get success in uh, some independent idea, business, way of existing. Okay. Wow, and it may come in very fast. There might even be a, an air, once again, of a, a, a lot of jealousy. There might be a lot of people patronizing your business or you or coming to you for advice, influence. This is a good advice giver also, the Queen of Sword or the Queen of Spade. Um, there may be a lot of people after you wanting your communication, wanting your... your uh, Whatever it is you have to give, your product, your service. If you're in a job setting, people want your input. There's a lot of work to be done. You may um, get a lot of electronic communication. You have... The, so it's cyclical, right? So with that eight. So it's in and out. People are... It's a revolving door of you know people once again patronizing your business wanting information wanting you to be a part of there could be you could run into some trouble and some jealousy here only because you are getting a lot of recognition you it looks like you're the go-to person this is very good for career and finance okay Aquarius, meet me on the other side. Stay tuned for a really special segment right after this. Aquarius, do know that I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. All information is below in the description box. The extension or the extended reading where we, we expound on this energy. Um, also, if you want to get your own personal reading, gift cards are in gift of reading give the gift of clarity people may not believe and you say hey it'll just be fun and then they'll come back to you as a believer not in me but definitely in uh in spirit and in, in the working in their life okay all right so thank you take care all links are below see you on the other side for the extension stay tuned guys hi guys so this is the real with l okay so a lot of times when you're looking at tarot card readings and you're getting tarot card readings done for yourself and you're getting psychic advice, that's spiritually based, right? Um, that's a lot of hope. That's a lot of prayer. That's a lot of manifestation. The real corner is practical advice and we can couple it with the advice of the Tarot or we can find a parallel. So the question is what is the end game a lot of times if you've had a reading with me you've heard me ask you this when i get on the phone when i am doing readings for other people the question is what is the end game here what exactly do you want from this situation that you're in more times than likely i am dealing with a situation where there is a young lady a young man who is a part of a third party. So this is the narrative somewhat similar to someone dealing with a third party. What is the end game? What do you want? What do what 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 do you desire? How do you feel about this connection, right? So if you say that your end game here is to be in a committed relationship with this person, whether you're dating them and you're not a third party or you are a third party or there are others involved, you need to know what you're after. When you enter a university, you know that you have upwards four years to get at least a bachelor's degree. And you know the end game, the end result here is the bachelor's degree. 
So you know what you're doing there. You know why you're there. For some of you, you need to ask yourself the question, what is the end game? Okay. It once you des- decide what the end game is for you, you need to then implement some strategy. What's the strategy here in order to get your desired outcome? Then we need to talk about execution. What are you doing in order to get a desired result or or outcome? Then we need to talk about results. What it, what has resulted from your strategy, your execution? What are the results? You need to understand a lot of you need to understand that sometimes um, you can't be so spiritually minded that you're earthly no good, right? Um, you need to have strategy, execution, and results in order to get exactly what it is you're looking for. Whether it's a relationship, most of the times it is, um, or whether it's the, a job or starting a business or whatever. Um, I do have one little fun fact here. If you are in a third party situation, maybe you're dealing with a married person or you're dealing with a person who's committed. Do you know, statistically, the wife leaves the man? It is not the other way around. Statistically, the statistics are higher in regards to the woman leaving the man. What does that tell us about our strategy? That the strategy needs to somehow be formulated around it needs to include the wife sounds a bit sinister but if this is what you want you have to apply some practical rational plan okay do know so how we couple this information with the tarot what is the end game what do you want what do you desire what are your feelings that would be the cups suit the two of cups, the three of cups. Strategy would be the swords, seven of swords, a plan, uh, eight of swords. Execution would be the wands. What are you doing in order to, what are you doing effort behind wh- what you really want? What do you do uh, meticulously, uh, consistently? Results would be the pentacles. What have all of these things that you've done, your strategy and your execution, what has it resulted in? So, and, and and this is a good way to have, to kind of, you know, maybe a checks and balance about yourself and about what it is you're doing in order to get the desired outcome. This could easy, easily be implemented for a business, uh, starting your own business, getting a job, um, reconciling with uh long lost friends or family what is it that you're doing in order to get a desired outcome now we've only fashioned it in regards to maybe a third party here but we can switch things around and make it useful to any aspect of your life a lot of you you have once again being realistic rational practical ask yourself the question What do I or what do you have to offer that the other woman or man doesn't possess? This sets you apart. This is a part of your strategy. If you cannot readily answer that question and it be something uh, useful, then maybe you need to really dig deep into in regards to what it is you really want here in in this position and once again this could be implemented towards starting a business reconciling anything um for a lot of you out there who i get the question all the time well my guy tells me that he is super unhappy in his relationship in his marriage i don't understand why he just won't leave i don't understand why he you know Okay, men and women are wired differently, okay? Uh, Mentally, emotionally, physically, all of that, wired differently. Most men, when they deal with stressful situations, most men seek out temporary fixes to stressful situations, while women will seek out permanent fixes. An example, divorce or separation. We 
are looking at the permanent fixture to this problem, okay? And for men, they're looking at a temporary fix. So their fix might be an extramarital affair. This may be the third party situation, hanging out with the friends, doing things that would increase uh, the, the feel good endorphins. Not necessarily that they fix the, the problem in its entirety, but definitely they have uh, brought a bit of joy into their life. And sometimes that joy is another person, is you, the third party. And, and, and they can't see past the fact that you bring them joy in a joy, joyless, um, um, a, a very turbulent or stressful situation. You are the missing piece to that puzzle. So if you take that bit of information with you also, you can then start to formulate a real hypothesis about what the hell is going on in your relationship with this person who is either committed or won't commit or still has options or whatnot, okay? Uh, once again, this can easily be fashioned to any aspect of your life, but I think this is good for a lot of you who are too far left on the spectrum in regards to um, spiritual and uh, uh, twin flame and soulmate. And when you're too far in the clouds, sometimes you have to ground yourself with rational and practical advice here. And we've coupled it and we've, we've kind of instituted the Tarot here. Okay. All right. So I hope that this helped you this little real corner with L. Uh, we'll keep these going and, um, tell me how you feel about it. All right. Bye.